Uh, so it's interesting you're talking about Flutter Web, right? I don't hear a lot of people using it straight for web. So this is a web-only project you're working on with uh, that mortgage company, right? Yeah, that's right. They initially had a product that spanned web and mobile, which is why they originally adopted Flutter. And uh, they brought me in at a time where that was still the case. But then the direction of the business changed so that they, there was really no point in maintaining the mobile product. They wanted to create some new web products, didn't need mobile, but they already had a fair amount of code in Dart and they already had me on staff as a Flutter developer. And so we went with Flutter for web. And this is a really important point for people to understand the business value of Flutter. It's not just the cool nature of portability. If, if that company had switched to, let's just say, traditional web technologies, or if they had chosen to go with React.js or something, well, they would have had to rewrite all that dark code into JavaScript, and they would have had to get rid of me and hire somebody who specializes in that area. That's real cost. I mean, I would guess that that company easily saved 50 grand or more by simply being able to reuse Flutter for their new product line, even though it's web only. And this is why I give the Flutter organization flack when they go around talking about, oh, well, we'll support this part of web, but not that part of web. There are tens of thousands and sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars on the line for companies. And Flutter would sure look a lot better if they were always in a position to save $100,000 rather than be a part of costing $100,000.